Okay. Oh my god, it's got a penis. <laughs> right. Welcome to the world's most happy plane. It just looks so damn impressive with those two machine guns. Well, not really machine guns, but uh, you get the point. If you look down from the front there, isn't that the most happy thing you have ever seen? Welcome to the last dev server video that I'm going to produce for at least this major patch. I was going to do a news video, but alas, it's time to take a look at a vehicle that's been sitting in the game files for well over five years. The Shackleton is one of those user models, well it's not really a user model, one of those models that's been in the community development kit, or the CDK, for so many years I don't know why it wasn't added with the Seafire when it came out with its contra-rotating propellers. Considering the Chinese got their TU4 and they added the TU4, it would have been nice to have this a few many years ago. And just look at that happy boy. Absolutely beautiful. And I will say, you know, it's quite disappointing to see this thing, uh, I, I guess, here so late. The age of the bomber is definitely well and truly over. If you fly these aircraft, you primarily would be using them for close air support roles, or you'd be flying them in enduring confrontation or sim. They don't really have a place in air realistic and considering that's where i have a majority of my focus yeah it's kind of disappointing regardless the whole entire crew look like they have a tea party in there and then you've got the griffins inside there not bad double wing spars fuel tanks the works everything uh but only two gunner positions as this thing only has a forward and a dorsal but that's okay you know it is a bomber that is particularly interesting Aside from the fact that it has this really weird glass cockpit at the front with the gunner housing just below uh, the, the main central part. But modifications wise, you get RP3s and obviously you get your 1000 pound bombs, your 250s, your, your 500s and obviously you can just choose to use RP3s if you really want. Be nice to see this thing actually get depth charges and actual torpedoes, although it did carry nu nuclear torpedoes and at one point did also carry nuclear depth charges. So, whether or not those would be particularly useful, I don't necessarily know. Point, uh, what I'm trying to make here is that this machine, while at 6.0, it's really just going to suffer. It's probably going to get its tail ripped off in two seconds by a 20mm cannon from a German MG151, for example. If you're wondering what that round thing, uh, protruding from the empennage of the aircraft, or at least the rear airframe, that is actually, I believe, a sonar, or a deep water sonar uh, radar or array. Not sure entirely on its purpose in War Thunder, however, maybe they're preparing for the addition of submarines. Maybe. Don't know. If that was the case, the 84 would also need its naval variant, and a few other aircraft that would be nice. Uh, particularly anti-submarine warfare ships is definitely what is missing. The Neptune would be nice and several other aircraft, but hey. This thing flies like a brick. This thing, essentially, is a Lancaster that's been streamlined, but has been given, you know, Lincoln treatment with 20mm uh, guns everywhere. Doesn't have any protection on the, on the bottom side of it, doesn't have any protection on the rear, although there are other variants that I know of, so I've been told. And this thing is so famous as an aircraft to, that it actually blew a wall over in South Africa. Now, when they were operating the last of these in the late 90s, Oh, such a beautiful, graceful machine. It sort of... There was one that was also lost in the desert. Uh, and I believe there is one being restored to flying condition in the UK, although it's in a white camouflage. So again, something to keep in mind. But this machine really doesn't have any use outside of being a extra step for Britain. This is the only new vehicle Britain is getting this patch, which I know... It's been sitting in the game files for very, very many years, but in saying that, does it provide any usefulness? Not really, its loadout doesn't provide anything different from a Lincoln or a Lancaster that you can't already get. Protection is basically identical, even though it does have 20mm cannons, and they are a Mark V Hispanos. Still, the extra engines might be useful, maybe, who knows. Uh, but here we are, we're going to come in on a carry land. Nailed it! Hey, some of the props are still going. Fantastic. But uh, let's take this out into a match and see what we can do. Radio, I have hit the battle button and we've gone instantly into a match. So the thing about the dev server, you face a bunch of AIs. 
Anyway, we spawned up at above our altitude, and I'm going to try and take the guns towards these fuck wolves. Provided that this thing slows down. She doesn't have an air brake, and so maritime patrol aircraft, while they are useful, uh, I mean, come on. Gunners, do your thing? I know I'm at a, a very egregious angle right now. I'd love to be able to fire the rockets. I might just have to do it myself, right? Okay, here we go. Destroy a bunch of AI flying straight and center. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, stop shooting at that one. AI, come on. Oh well, there we go. We've got the third aircraft. Okay, is that, is that all you wanted? Because that's what's going to happen if an aircraft is flying behind you like that. Or at least from above. I have no idea why I'm trying to fly this like a fighter aircraft. I guess that's what I get for trying to fly it like a fighter aircraft. There's an AI B-25 over there that I want to try and shoot down. My gunner's looking at him, tracking him, but not actually opening fire at all. That's okay, this thing will probably end up by dying without that, that left wing there. But yeah. I'm flying this like a fighter for some unknown reason, and that's really all I have to say. Anyway, I'm going to jump into the next match. Right, we found a B-25. Come her in, Mr. B-25. It is time you met your maker, the Shackleton. Show you who a true uh, maritime fighter is. Oh, look, he's trying to shoot me right now. Let's give him the old gunners. Let's see if we can get him an RP-3. Ready? No. Okay, because they're so far out in the wings, you're going to have to really le learn to fly that. I can see Smiggle or, or some other creators already making videos where they use this thing as a... A dedicated fighter with the rockets. Ah, oh, we only got a critical hit. Right, avoid the buildings. We don't want to become a B-25 into the Empire State Building in 1945. Right, moving on. Oh, some jets in here, is there? SU-9 as well. Okay, A6M3, F6F. Pretty easy stuff. Oh, no, they're all dying. Okay, never mind. Come here. I just want to play. Stop dying, everybody. Please? Stop, stop, stop dying. Oh, dear. Yeah, come here, Zero. Daka, 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 daka. There we go. <laughs> Again, if you come into anywhere near this thing's airspace, you're probably presumed to be dead. Aside from that, it's a terminal uh, and, and just bomber. Ready? Okay, we're going to open the bomb bay, and I'm going to absolutely. Uh, okay, that'll do. All right, pull up. Dumped all my bombs. Yeah, look, it's a bomber. It does bombery things. Who would have fucking guessed? Ah, uh, there's so many more reasons for you to be a fighter in this game nowadays than, uh, than be a bomber aircraft. You know? I miss the days where these vehicles were actually somewhat usable in at least the current realistic battles, you know? Or as they were back then, historical battles. But I've blabbed on about that before. That's not necessarily a, a problem with the bombers themselves. It's more the way that Gaussian chooses to implement you know, ways in which people can use them effectively. What about bombing bridges, railway centres, cities, towns, uh, you know, dams, for example. I'd love to say that the dam busting, you know, things in this game. Come on, AI. No. All right, the AI just snapped there. Suffice to say that this machine was probably not really that useful unless it gets its you know, sonar available like functions, right? some sort of depth charge or some sort of like you know, usable feature against submarines maybe that's why they pulled it out of, out of the files who knows but time goes on and this machine is six years too late in my opinion despite it being a beautiful machine and despite it being something that i've wanted for years i'm now a fighter pilot and despite not being the greatest fighter pilot in war thunder i still don't like the way that gameplay has progressed towards bomber pilots there hasn't really been a single change. The game is more oriented towards Team Deathmatch than it ever was. And suffice to say that this thing is practically useless. Uh, despite its meme function with the RP3s and several other interesting factors, there isn't really much else to say here. All right, that's it for my dev server coverage. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.